Singapore, the Lion City, often referred to as a gateway between the East and the West because of its cultural diversity. A fascinating mix of colonial, Asian, Indian and Arab influences. There's nothing like travel for new adventures and experiences. The downside, of course, is being away from family and friends. But imagine if you could still touch or even hug your children, even when you're thousands of miles apart. Well, soon you could be doing just that, thanks to, of all things, a chicken. It's the result of some exciting research being done at the Mixed Reality Lab at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University. Meet Charlie. He's one very switched on rooster and perhaps the world's first internet using chicken. So does he spend his days surfing the net, scouring eBay for bargains or flaming chook chat rooms? No, he just struts around inside a large box doing what a rooster does. So before you cry foul and say, just what have chickens got to do with hugging my children? Well, at this research laboratory, they've worked out a way of transmitting a sense of touch over the internet. So if I touch, stroke, or even tickle this little chicken doll here, then Charlie, wherever he is, will feel exactly the same sensations. It's called haptic or touch sensing technology allowing tactile interaction over the internet. You know, this chicken doll is actually very hard. It's not squishy at all, even though you'd think so. But inside, there are four electrodes like this, and they create a very tiny electric field. And as I run my fingers over the doll, it disrupts that field. And that tactile information is then sent wirelessly to a PC, and then through the internet to that haptic vest that's worn by our favourite chicken, Charlie. Inside the jacket, there's a battery, a wireless receiver, that's connected to all of these small vibrating motors. These pancake motors are the same ones you find in mobile phones and pages. And once they vibrate, they recreate that sense of touch. Uh, he looks gorgeous, doesn't he? Now, the obvious question is, why a chicken? That's best answered by the man who created internet poultry, Dr. Adrian Cheok. But in, in Southeast Asia, traditionally people have kept chickens as pets in their backyards. In the uh, traditional Asian villages, there was always chickens around and children would play with them. So we wanted to really recreate that kind of traditional Asian style uh, pet, which is the chicken. We wanted to make a technology where people could touch their pet no matter where they are because a very important communication between humans and pets is through touch. In fact, the benefits work both ways. Studies have shown that chickens who are stroked and held regularly will produce more eggs because they're happier. Charlie mightn't lay eggs, but he is happy. At this point, you may be wondering, well, how do we know that Charlie actually likes to be touched? After all, he can't speak, can he? Well, here they've set up an experiment, and inside this large box, there are two separate rooms. Both of them have food and water, and Charlie can move between them quite freely. But in this room here, he gets to be stroked with the sensors in his vest. And guess what? He always likes to hang in here. OK, so it's quite a setup just for a chook, but what if you could use it to touch, tickle and hug someone even more important to you than your pets? What we're doing with the next version is called Internet Pyjama, and it's going to be designed for parents to um, hug their children through the internet. The child will be able to feel realistic hugging sensation. The parent will hug a teddy bear, and then the child will feel the hugging on, on their body. It does sound weird, maybe even a little frightening, but in the right context, giving your kids a hug from far away is pretty special. The work here at the Mixed Reality Lab has opened up some amazing possibilities. And it raises the question of just how far can we go and how intimate can we get? Who knows, even sex by the internet may become a reality. But before you get too excited, researchers reckon it's at least a decade away and the technology may remain expensive. So it's an idea that really is beyond tomorrow.